I'll ring you back. Shoo. I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer and I want a cup of tea. Chief Sergeant in the St. Mary Police Force. I graduated top of my year. I have three commendations for bravery. I've been shot twice and I could almost certainly beat you in a fist fight. Whereas you, you are a rude man. You are ignorant, full of your own self-importance, expecting everyone to follow you around and hang on your every word. From now on, you treat me with a little more respect or I'll be forced to forget I'm a police officer. Okay? Camille? No, it's Catherine. Your mother keeps bringing me soup. Then you should eat it. I can't tell her. It's just that thing. The eyebrows. And the French thing. What if someone sees us together? Excuse me? I'll have to wear it back to front or it'll all pop out. Richard, can you hear me? It's Catherine. I didn't order any cheese. Do you want some company tonight? In case they come back? Well, that's very kind, but, um... Uh, just to warn you, I do snore. Now, I don't mind sleeping on the sofa, but I am told I'm very loud. I'll be fine. Sure. It was worth it, you know, just to see those pyjamas again. So we can definitely rule out suicide. Solly's death was murder. I think we should... <laughs> oh, wow. Very immature. I'll have word with whoever did that. There's only you and me here. Well, I'm sorry, sir. You were saying me... Ask Curtis about his snake. <laughs> no. One song, and it's a slow one. I do not dance. You've got a good ear. Only person who noticed that off not in the song. Ears aren't feet. Richard, it's what Sully would have wanted. All the time you've been here, have you learned anything? Or change your opinion, maybe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there is something I've realized, something I suppose it's taken me a long time to notice. Yes. Something I've really come to appreciate, more than I thought I would. What? My own company. Now what have I done? Nothing. That is so annoying. Wait, I am annoying? Yes. You're so English! Being English doesn't mean you're annoying. Oh, yes, it does. Well, if you don't mind me saying so, I think that's very childish. Mm. And very French. Excuse me? And what has being French got to do with it? You started it. No, I didn't. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. What? I've got, I've got sand in my eye. <laughs> ah! Stop laughing! I'm dying here! I've got sand in my eye! Stop being a baby! <laughs> <laughs> A surprise. I am. Um, I wasn't expecting. No, quite. Uh, it was your mother's idea. I don't know if you've noticed, but she's quite difficult to say no to. <laughs> yes, I have. Um, I think I'll have a cocktail. Oh, right. Uh, have you got time? Excuse me. I, I, I thought you had a date. Yes, but... Uh, you ready, sir? What's going on? 
will your mother arrange for me to babysit baby Rosie for Fidel and Juliet so they could go for a romantic meal together? And uh, I agreed, subject to certain conditions, such as they were home by 10, and she sleeps the whole time that I'm there. So basically, less babysitting, more reading a book in someone's house. Haven't you had enough work for one day? It's rude to keep your date waiting. Well, uh, we better be going. I um, hope you, you know, have a nice time. Yes. See you tomorrow. See. I've said a prayer to Azuli for you. That's why I like puzzles. Generally, they're things you can do on your own. But you don't have to anymore. You have me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> this is amusing you, isn't it, my discomfort? Yes. Well, at least you're honest about it. Well, you... You're so pompous sometimes. I like it when you just... So what about now? Do you think your dad is proud of you? That's a difficult question to answer, really. Um, yeah, you know, when I'm not around, uh, I suspect he is. But um, when I'm there, I can almost feel the disappointment radiating off him. Maybe he just finds it hard to express his emotions. You must get it from somewhere. No, I think it's genuine disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm a bit, you know. Don't be. Can you keep a secret? Yeah. She will be back on Friday. Yeah, that's the plan. Of course, things might change. Uh, not saying they will, but, you know, being here wasn't really the plan, was it? Not exactly. Just sort of happened. One minute I was in Croydon, the next. <laughs> I mean, not that I haven't loved it, you know. I have. And you, and... Well, all of you, you know, the gang. Yeah. Loved every minute of it. Well, maybe not every minute, you know, in the main. Anyway, it's only till Friday, probably. No need for big goodbye. You won't come back with me. Yeah, of course I will. No, you won't. You'll get home, it will be cold and raining, and you'll have a pint of beer in your pub, and uh, you'll want to stay there. Good evening, team. He was on the flight, right? Ah, bit of a problem on that front. Too bright is a problem. They lost my luggage. Again. That's two flights I've made to this benighted island, and both times they've lost my luggage. It's like they've got some kind of twisted vendetta against me. I mean, what is the point? of having a luggage carousel if there's never anything on it, hmm? I mean, they should maybe turn it into something else, you know, like a revolving fruit and vegetable display or a children's ride. I mean, they call it paradise, but they've got a very funny idea of what paradise is if it includes walking around in 100 degree heat in the same pants for a fortnight. Welcome home, Chief. It's good to have you back.